What's going on, guys? It's me, TG So Good, aka The Goods, back with another video. So, today on my screen right away, you'll see me going into my Steam folder. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one of my My League files and I'm going to just uh, replace one of my roster files. So, I'll delete a roster file I just created. So roster 0024, uh, I'm going to copy a my league file that I have, and then I'm going to rename it to the roster. I just deleted roster 0024. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what this does when you get into the game. So let's see. All right. Pulling up the game. All right, all right. I skip some of this stuff for you guys. I'm gonna pause it every now and then so you guys don't have to wait for loading. Um, for you guys to do what I'm about to do, you will need to have the the legit version of the game so you can connect uh, connect to the online features. So right away, let's see. If I go over to Roster Creator, and then I go to Edit Roster. I'm going to show you guys the roster I have exported from my Mali. So NCAA courts and logos. So it takes a little bit of time, but everything loads up. As soon as I load the roster, it already has all of the logos. As you guys can see here. So now these teams, yeah, I mean, some of these teams, they don't have the, um, I was using the in-game files and for whatever reason those don't come out right so like Georgia Tech is a school that's already in the game and I was using their real files in my my league but uh, when I turned this into a roster it didn't pull those those jersey files anymore. It still pulled the logos and everything, but not the jersey. But anyway, I don't care. Um, forget what I was. Well, all the uh, most of the team should have jerseys here. I'm going to upload this file to the online, so you guys can test it out. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. This, I mean, this is a huge thing because now what you can do is you can create all your jerseys in the game, which you could already do. You can create your stadium in the game, which you could already do. But the thing is, you can share it with other people. Like, you can share a full roster. I, I mean, uh, I don't know. Hold on. I'm trying to think of how to say this. You can share a fully edited and custom roster. So like right now, these are some Georgetown. Um, I think I got this Georgetown jersey from NBA 2K14. I used to convert NBA 2K14 jerseys because basically I had like a thousand jerseys on there. Like literally, I probably have more than a thousand, but literally 1,000 jerseys in NBA 2K14. I got just about every college every d1 college which is about 300 something jerseys oh actually about 600 because i got home away alternates then i've got just about every nba jersey all the way up through the 2015 2016 season on nba 2k14 so i was just i mean i used to just convert these and put them in this game but anyway um still scrolling through the screens you guys can see most of the teams have jerseys and all you guys will need to do is just download the roster so this is going to be big going into that wasn't Lonzo ball but this is going to be big going into nba 2k18 exporting rosters uh we used to be able to export teams I think the last one we could do it in was NBA 2K12. So right now I'm sharing the roster. So you guys, 
if you don't believe this works, if you're on PC, um, let's see if I can, if you're on PC, you're going to be able to search for this. I just want to show you guys right away that it's more than just the jerseys and logos. So if I go to like now and then I'm going to load up the roster to take it into play now. And I want to show you guys that when you download this roster, the stadiums and the courts will already be there. And I'm sorry, it's going to take me a while to pick my teams. I'm kind of indecisive. Um, I'm recording the audio separately from actually making the video. So let's see. So I'm going to pick some teams, but if you guys stick with me, I know it's, you know, it's already been six minutes and this video is kind of long, but if you guys stick with me or just watch this video in a faster speed, um, cause YouTube has the settings to change the speed of a video, just watch it in like one, 1.25 speed or whatever, but just stick with me guys. Trust me. If you're on PC and you don't know how to mod, well, you don't have to anymore. You definitely do not have to. Just create your full roster full of custom teams in my league. Go to your, find your Steam folder with your files and, re, you know, replace one of your rosters or create a new roster just because you know you're going to replace it. And, uh, Copy your My League file, rename it, and load it up, and upload it, share it. All right, so right away, we're in play now. We're not in My League. We're not in My GM. Um, so as you can see, the atmosphere is custom. This is custom. All of this. Um, so basically, when you create your stadiums and everything, they're going to carry over to the roster. I'm not really sure why this wasn't a feature in the game itself. I'm thinking that 2K18 is probably going to allow you to do this. Like in game, they're going to allow you to export your My League roster. Because if they don't, then, I mean, I, I just don't understand why they wouldn't let you. Because people on console need to be able to do this. You know, that that will make it so much easier to share um, all the college mods and the, the, the FIBA mods, the Olympic mods. I mean, I'm sorry, not mods, but... All of the uh, college rosters on console, PS4, Xbox One. But anyway, so let's get out of that. As you guys saw the court, I just wanted to back out to also show you guys, like, I'm not in my league. I'm, I'm legit in play now. So right now, I'm going to 2K, um, what is this, the 2KU practice mode. I loaded up the, I'm loading up the roster again before I go into practice mode. I think I just want to look at another court. Actually, you know what? I just wanted to show you that you could do it for practice mode. I was just scrolling through teams. So I think this is the part. Shoot, I can't remember. But again, um, I'm recording my audio separately from the video. I'm actually recording this audio after the video. So let's see. I think this is just the part where I wanted to tell you guys, like, you know, you could basically you could go on my league and, um, you know, export your roster. You can export your rosters from my league season, my GM. You can export your rosters from my GM and use them in play now. And um, 
you can export your roster from my league and take it into my GM um, using this mess method. I'm sorry, using this method, you will be able to take everything you have and just go right into a different mode. Even my career. So, so if you guys are looking for this, this roster with the logos and everything, just type in TG so good. We go to look for this roster and it'll be the roster that says NCAA courts and logos. I only have three rosters uploaded. And I never meant for anybody to download the other two. I was just testing, testing it out, but I did upload it. Um, all the teams unlocked that has like the, the college teams, all of that. It, anyway, back to this video. So right now I'm just copying over the roster. I'm using them. No, no, trainer. I'm copying this roster into my career. So what I did was if you download the roster, this roster, this college roster with the logos already in place and everything. Um, once you go to it, load up Lumnono's trainer, press F1, F3 to copy roster, and then you can start a new my career. And look, look on the screen. You can see the players are in college jerseys. So you can have a legit college my career where you spend four years in college that's pretty dope the only bad part about it is every time you go to make a new my career you have to start from the beginning so you'll have to play college before you can even get get into playing a collegiate my career i, I hate the fact that you have to start over every time it's really stupid so um in this video i was just I was just trying to test it out and ultimately everything's going to end up crashing with my career because I was trying to basically cheat the game and make it hurry up and finish. So in Limnono Trainer, um, I'm, I'm going to press, uh, I want the hidden option, hidden menu options to come up. So I'm going to press F2. I was just trying to see if there were more options. But when you're in college, when you're starting out your my career, you know, it doesn't give you any additional options, just a couple. I was trying to see if I could see him out of this, this part. I just wanted to get to where I was in the warehouse, my court, but doesn't allow me to do that. So basically, if you start a new my career trying to use an exported roster from your my league, then just know you're going to have to start all the way over. So right now I got the Chris move that I made and like this stuff right here is ridiculous, man. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead because this crap is garbage. All right, so. Basically, I'm trying to get out of this game as quick as possible. Oh, let's see. It. Wow, man. Um. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get cheat engine opened up and try to speed hack my way through this game. But then I found out that with within the game, um, while you have the game on, I mean, not while you have the game on, but while you're in game and actual gameplay, you can, um, if you have the F2 button select it, in Lemonono Trainer, where you unlock the menus, all the menus, you can actually do SimCast. SimCast Live, I'm sorry. I, yeah, this is SimCast Live. So I tried to do this, but this is, 
basically this didn't work because I was just trying to hurry up and get out of the game and it it didn't work at all. It ended up crashing the game and I wasn't able to load back into this my career after trying a few times, so All right, again, I'm gonna skip ahead. Ah, there we go. Um, I actually didn't skip ahead. That was where it crashed. And I tried a couple more times to get it to pull back up, but it never worked. Like I couldn't even load back into that my career file. So you can use the the um like you can use a custom exported roster in my league but you just can't like cheat your way through the first part of my career to get past playing in college it, it, the game will not let you it'll crash so anyway back to what I was doing with the exported rosters again you can go search for the roster just search for my ID which is TG so good NCAA courts and logos if you guys want to test this out, NCAA Courts and Logos, you click on it, it'll download to your PC if you have the legit version, and it will have most of the logos and jerseys and courts already in place. You don't have to down you don't need a download link or anything like that. It will already be in the game. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna do here. All right, so again, I loaded up another court. Of course, when you guys get it, your your floor will not be glitching like this. The reason my floor is glitching because I'm using um, the college championship arena. Anyway, I, I basically modded the arena, but it glitches with the floor. Your floors will not be glitching. But as you can see here, I have a custom floor. All of this is outside of my league. All of this is outside of my GM. Like this is loading up a roster and playing with it. You will have all the jerseys, all the art, all the little um, Dornas that uh, show up on the scorers table, all the Dorna ads that show up on the scorers table. I look at that over there. It says uh, NCAA basketball, but I didn't. You will not have to download anything externally. You just download the roster in the game, and bam, the game gives you all of this. Now I will have another video on how to export your rosters. I just wanted to do this video to show everybody that hey, we can now have super custom my careers and we can share our custom um we can share our custom rosters <laughs>